what is your salary at Google in London? Can a non-ITian become a software engineer at Google? Getting a job at Google should not be the motivation behind pursuing your masters. How do I get an internship at Google as a fresher? Hi guys, my name is Garima. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a software engineer at Google in London and I constantly receive a lot of queries asking how to land a job at Google. Therefore, two weeks ago, I shared a reel on my Instagram asking you all to drop your questions in the comments that you would like me to answer. Thankfully, that reel got a great response and it has more than 300 comments, which means I cannot answer them all in a single video. So I thought of creating a Q&A series where I will be answering your questions every two weeks. So even if your question is not answered in this one, don't worry, it will be covered in the upcoming ones. Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's jump right in. So the first question is from Harish and Sonali and they ask, what is your education qualification? So I have done bachelors of technology in computer science from USIT IP University. And then I did my masters in computer science from IIT Delhi. So the next question is asked by Fiza, Vishal, Amar and a lot of you, which is, can a non-ITN become a software engineer at Google? So the answer to this question is yes, you absolutely can. In fact, I personally know a lot of people in Google who are not from tier one universities. See how IITs and other brand universities help you is they give you an edge over others in getting your resume shortlisted. But you don't have to worry if you have a solid profile. And once you're past that stage, everything comes down to your performance in your interviews. It does not matter which college you're coming from. Another very popular question, which is asked by Nisar, Jay and Anvesha, which is which programming language is preferred at Google? Okay, so I understand why this is a big concern to all of you, but let me make it very clear that Google does not have any preference of language. They do not use language as a criteria to either shortlist your resume or while interviewing you. In fact, you're given a choice to pick any language you want during your interviews. That's it. Relax, focus on your preparation without worrying about unnecessary things. Moving on. So the next question is asked by Gayatri and Manasvi and they say, did you give gate exam? How much time did it take you to prepare? And so yes, I took the gate exam in my final year of BTEC in 2018 and I secured an All India rank of 166. I started the preparation in my third year and it took me around 10 months to prepare for all the 10 subjects that are there in computer science. I'm thinking of creating like a full detailed video about my gate preparation journey. Let me know if you would like to see this in the comments. Another frequent question is please share your journey and experience about how you got a job at Google. So I'm actually thinking of creating a dedicated video for this question where I will actually walk you through my entire interview experience with all the rounds and process and everything. But to give you a brief, I first applied at Google during my final year of MTech, but I could not clear the interviews at that time. Later, I was contacted by the recruiter again asking if I would like to interview with them. And this time I was able to make it. So I joined Google India in Hyderabad and after a year, I got an internal transfer to London. Moving on. So the next question is asked by Joseph, Bhumika and Siddhant. They say, please make a roadmap on how to start and what topics to prepare for Google interviews. Okay, so there is no single roadmap that would work for everyone equally because everyone could have different times, different problem areas on how and how they want to work through it. But generally speaking, problem solving is a non-negotiable skill for Google interviews. You must be able to solve two questions in 45 minutes from topics such as dynamic programming, graphs, binary search, etc. And in fact, if you're someone who is applying for a higher level role, you must also have a solid grasp of system design as well. I will try to make a generic roadmap where we will cover these topics in much more detail. The next question is asked by Madhu, Hardik, Harsh and many more, which is how do I get an internship at Google as a fresher? So Google offers two internship programs, STEP and Software Engineering Internship. STEP program is only applicable to first and second year college students, while the other one is applicable to undergraduate, postgraduate and PhD students as well. 
In both of these internships, you are given a good stipend and it's usually 12 weeks long. You get to work on a really technical, challenging project with full-time Googlers and other interns. I will pop the link in the description box for both of them where you can just go and apply for them online. Moving on, the next question is by Supraja and they say, should I pursue a master's to land a job at Google? Absolutely not. Getting a job at Google should not be the motivation behind pursuing your master's. The minimum qualification for any software engineering role at Google is bachelor's. So doing a master's is absolutely up to you and your interest. Final and the most interesting question, what is your salary at Google in London? I'm sorry, but I cannot disclose the number. But let me tell you that the salary depends on your role, your level and your location. So let me give you a link to levels.fyi where you can just input these numbers to get an idea about the average salaries of a Googler. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and drop your questions in the comments that you would like me to answer in the next video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.